Hey, how's it going friends? My name is Angel Alex and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect 2. Last episode, we added another person, or more specifically, a Turian to the team, and uh, that Turian happened to be Garrus. I am so, so happy that he's back. I just, I'm so glad he's gonna be on our team. He's, he's ready, he's gonna fight by our side. But today, uh, we are gonna continue with some main missions, but before we do that, uh, I, I picked up a data pad uh, uh, when we were on Omega, and I have to deliver it to Arya, so why not? Let's go ahead and do that first. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. <laughs> Good to know. All right, uh, let's head inside, have a chat with Arya. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. She has like a resting bitch face. I mean, I have one too, but it's like super bitch face. What? Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? <laughs> I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Of course. Alrighty. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Well, that gave us some XP, and I guess Arya trust us a little bit more. Okie doke. Well, from here, I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. Hmm. There's a lot of options. I'd say let's continue eating the members of our team. We only have two more left, so let's go ahead and start there. We'll start with uh, the convict, Jack. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. <laughs> Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. So they're just if handing us Jack. Me processing for the pickup commander. Okay, let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Whoa. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. Good to know. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Jeez. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. I didn't realize that I already picked that. <laughs> Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't. 
and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. Wow. I I don't know if this is a good idea to have a a convict on our team. <laughs> A violent person. I mean, not that any of us aren't violent, but like, I don't know. I don't know about this. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world. Jeez. At an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people and I'm keeping them locked up. Well, all right then. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. Oh. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. All right, then. Follow the quarter to processing. Okay. Fun. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Jesus Christ. How many times you have to hey. hit him? Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Oh, come on. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate them through. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever uh, kill prisoners by I can never tell. I forget what I what the word Warden says that I click on, and I end up dead. clicking on the same Funny thing. thing. Though, the more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. See, I forget. Did I click so interrogation? Through. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something. Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday. I think guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. Okay, I did pick that. Uh, life on the ship. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Fun. What's it like here? Oh, I already asked him that. Bad. Smokes. See, it was like placed in a I different haven't taken corner. I have in three months. Okay, I've asked him all of this. <laughs> Jesus. I should go. Wish I could go. Oh. I, I'm sorry, sir. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Out processing's through the door on the far side of the room. Alrighty. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. What? Drop I'm your sorry. And proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Uh. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Oh fuck this shit! I'm glad we kept our weapons, dude. All right, what kind of powers are these guys? Have? He's got overload, shadow strike. Do it. Overload, I don't think works on them. Going dark. What has to worry about? <laughs> 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 One. Move up a bit. That one hit. Let's go. Reinforce out processing. Shepard is loose. We have to get Jack out of trial. Cloaking. Look out. Good. Okay. Concussive shot ready. Going silent. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. Fucking A. <laughs> Shit. Oh, they keep him frozen? Jack. Holy shit. I'm not missing anything. Oh, what is that? Let's go. Let's go. Warning. Warning. They're attacking Jack. Oh, she broke through the damn wall. How does that work? Okay, nothing back there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We can use this. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized, but don't kill Jack. Text, lockdown, lockdown. Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Oh, fuck. This should be easy to track. We can't go down? Oh, this way, this way. Missiles are these? These seem very weak. Oh 
more. Bitch. Alright, stay behind. Battery corridor. Go. Sweet. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. <laughs>
shoot below it. Thank you. Oh, Garrus is down again. They're coming from, dude. This motherfucker. Come on, come on. We're not. Uh, fuck. Come on. What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm going to get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Uh... I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. I take the offer, honey. Otherwise, things end badly for you. Fast. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. I don't care about Cerberus, so dude. standing here? Move out. I felt like I had to get a little renegade on her. <laughs> she was getting, she called me a pussy. <laughs> All right, mission complete. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. <laughs> I'm here because of our deal. Oh, man. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. <laughs> She's gonna be mad at me. She's gonna be mad at me. Miranda, I'm sorry, I had to. Alrighty then. What a mission. Let's um have a talk with the team. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying Genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on Genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. 
Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Hmm. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can't stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk All more right. later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Well, alright then. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You don't want to be friends? For now, just you say the word, I back off. Uh, I don't know what... Uh... Definitely not for now, just you, because I'm making friends with everybody. I mean... I kind of want to say, like, say the word and I back off. I just want to show an interest in the crew. Let me know if I go too far. Yeah, that was a bit tight. Sorry. Cerberus makes everyone suspicious. It's how people stay alive. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Weird. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. All right. So you single? No. <laughs> uh, you seem quick to trust me. You and Miranda have history. Um. Definitely not gonna go that that route. Uh, I I don't think I'm interested in Jack in that way. I just. I mean, it could change, but right now, he seems more of like a buddy. Uh, you seem quick to trust me. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. Did I call him Jack? I'm not used to Jacob, seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. What? I'm sorry. I want you to need me? What the f game? I'm not going that route. What do you s No. I'm just gonna go neutral here. I don't even- There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Uh, what? Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Uh... 
We'll give them a show. We have nothing to hide. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. For sure. That was weird. Any messages, Karen? Kelly? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alrighty, let's have a look. Whoa, is this that girl that I helped on the... at the docking bay at the Citadel in the first game? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Take care of Garrus. Oh. Oh. If you can't help him, stop blaming himself. Don't tell him that I sent you this. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. But keep an eye on that last one. You can only <laughs> hold so much crazy. I <laughs> know, I know, I know. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. See you, Joker. Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. All right, then. Uh... Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. All right. What exactly are your duties? I think I've asked for this on me? before. I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Alrighty. Well, I guess you don't want to talk to me. You sure? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, no, Shepard. she doesn't. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Alrighty then. Bye. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Nobody wants to talk, talk to, to me. Talk to you later, guys. I'll be here if you need me. Alrighty then. Well, let's go have a chat with Jack. If we can. Here she is. The very bottom of the ship, literally. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. They're not my I'm friends. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. How would you help? <laughs> You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Well, all right, nice chatting with you. Go. Yep. All right, you guys, now that we've talked to everybody, let's, no uh... For you, Commander. 
Start another mission, and I think it's gonna be with the warlord here. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Is your goal. Ooh. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Krogan. I'm happy to have another Krogan on our team. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are building. Well, who are they looking for? Oh! Let's see what Jack can do. Couples enemies near path. Alright. Alright, keep moving. Oh, got a guy here. Shit, shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Funny. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Fly, bitch! Oh! Uh. She said fly, bitch.
the guy? You are different. You. You don't smell like this world. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. Night cycles. Seven days. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. Hmm. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. That Merc said these guys go crazy. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success so far. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Fleshy things. Oh no, it crashed. I why was I thinking like it's a good thing I saved in case something were to happen. And of course, it crashes. Thank you, game. <laughs> Ooh, big Rough boy. Stuff. I like it. <laughs> Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Wow. All right, then. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. Hey, loose! Run for your damn life! They're all free! Krogan. Nothing gets in my way. I think I got him. <laughs> New victims. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. Explode? No, I guess not. Oh, that's scarce. So many Krogan. Can use this. Mark, cover. Oh, fucking shit. Well, my whole team <laughs> didn't need me <laughs> right there. Okay. This should slow him down. Nothing can stop me.
Oh, I have new ammo. Freeze enemies. Let's try that. Pretty cool. There was cover right there. Oh, there was. I should get in behind it. It's over here. There we go. Back up, it's back up. 
I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Rana Thanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab oh. in Vermont. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Wow. Doesn't ring a bell now. I'm not... I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry. I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here? Strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip, but Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> Appreciate it. Too nice. That'll bite you in the ass someday. Well, uh, thank you, Jack. Ah, oh, fucking A. progress oh hi it's about time the batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs i take it you're oak here you don't seem particularly caged or grateful that i'm here you may claim to be here to help but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change surprised old krogan should know you i'm sure rana has already revisited your actions on vermeyer I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. All right. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. 
We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or Horde would. My legacy is perfection. With each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead, they will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them many Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage, but my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Oak data. Flush the tanks! Ah, shit. She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will. Stay and do what must be done. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.